mtu yote ambaye anasema atatembea na Mungu na yeye lazima akue tayari katika mambo ya sacrifice there is no sacrifice without pain if there is something you give to god and it did not involve pain that then was not a sacrifice why are we not finding results why are we not getting results as far as the matters of the kingdom are concerned murambe kwa ndonga concentrate why are we not getting results as far as the things of the kingdom are concerned kwa sababu we don't want to pay a sacrifice or to pay a price i came to understand that the majority of us believers a mini majority we are afraid of that pain that comes with the sacrifice na pasi ndio unaona mwaka kama huu 2022 utapita kama mtu fulani anjaachivu njambo biblia inasema ili tuambie kwamba a lesser person will stay with his desires lakini atapokea kile anataka atakuwa tu na desires peke yake lakini mtu ambaye ni mtu wa bidii kile ambacho anahitaji atakipokea ninawaomba jioni ya leo kanisa la Bwana kuvuta Mungu kuna uchungu kuna gharama kuna mahali tunagalimika I told you nimeona mara mingi sana kama hapa in the county ukinyesha they say it is a sunday morning people will not come to the church but when it rains they cannot miss to go to the work amen because they value their works and it is very good but it is good to value on god better than your work so it is only those who love god more ambao hata kama kumenyesha barabara asibitiki they will make it to the house of god sema sacrifice i beseech you by the mercies of god tumuombe mungu atusaidie kwamba we can be an, we, we can inconvenience ourselves kuna some discomfort you can go through kwa sababu tunataka tukutane na mungu wengi whenever discomfort comes atutaki atutaki kusikia discomfort we want comfort we want comfort zone na hizo comfort zone ndizo zinasuidia watu kupokea baraka amen ask every father that is planting in the shamba a time like now they will tell you it is not easy matope ni mengi unatembea unachoka unainama hizo ndizo discomfort na so hizo ndizo zinasema kwamba wakati wa kufuna they will harvest the same case with the kingdom of god As I pray for you this prayer, I am praying that prayer kwa maisha yangu pia. Mungu anisaidie to give a better sacrifice and to sacrifice more in the mighty name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. If you are not trained to feel the pain of sacrifice, hauna kitu ambacho utafuna. If you are not trained to pay a sacrifice, you cannot walk with God. Kuna wakati Mungu atakwambia nataka uamuke saa sita ya usiku. Tuongee mpaka asubuhi na sasa hiyo ndiyo mwanajua usingizi unakuwa mkali hivyo ndivyo aliambia Abraham tukutane hapa nje na ilikuwa ni usiku na vikiria nje hata kulikuwa na mbalindi nje alikuwa peke yake and there they end a meeting with god jacob walikutana pasipo watu wengine ili bible inasema ya kwamba they were wrestling na malaika ilikuwa ni mbungangano mpaka asubuhi ikafika na wakati alivumilizo in convenience is on discomfort hiyo vita baka asubuhi ndiye akabokea njina akaambia you no longer be called jacob you will be called israel mbarikiwa bwana asifiwe be ready to feel discomfort be ready for in convenience as far as unataka baraka zake mwenyezi mungu and everything good that you see people carry hiyo kitu kuna kuanga na path ya uchungu ili upokee sasa siku ya njana tulikuwa tunaangalia barabara ambazo andui anatumia kuingia mahali na tukasema vile tumejuizwa barabara wakati umevika tuifunge katika jina la Yesu asinje akaingia tena tuliangalia mambo kama sapa ambaye inafungulia andui mrango na tumetangaza kama kuna mtu yote katikati yetu alikuwa amefungulia shetani mlango huo mrango umefungwa sasa kwa jina la Yesu Somebody shout a believing amen. amen. I want to preach to a church that is saying amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Yes.
if there is any point in our mindis kuna murango ulifungulia shetani kubitia manjaribu kubitia ignorance huo murango tumeufunga tonight in Jesus name shout a powerful amen, amen. nakubalia na naneno lako bwana nakubalia na naneno lako bwana amen sasa ni vitu vigapi vinaweza kuambia mtu kwamba katika maisha yake kumeingia ataki ya shetani Sasa leo hizo vitu ndizo tunaangalia number one. number one. prayerlessness 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 ni kuishi lifestyle ambayo haina maombi when you see someone that is calling himself a believer a church linda in fact hata wengine ni viongozi wa kanisa hata wengine wanatumika lakini wameanza kuishi maisha yasiyo na maombi na hiyo mtu anasikia ako combo tapo my friend you are under the attack of the enemy in fact unachukulia ni kawaida Matthew 26 verse number 46 Matthew 26 verse number 46 Let's start from verse number 45. Then he returned to the disciples. What were the disciples doing? And he said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is near, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Let's continue. Let's rise. Let us go here. Here comes my betrayer. And the Bible shows in verse number 47, as he was speaking, Judas Iscariot arrived. In Matthew 26 what you will find is that kwa sababu Yesu alikuwa anaelewa kwamba mbele yake there is a betrayer, there is a test. The enemies that to come he spent good time in prayer. What happens when we start praying? Maombi na tusaindianga kushinda vita zile zitakunja kesho tunazishinda leo. Hallelujah. Prayer gives you grace to overcome battles that will come tomorrow in advance. If you are not spending good time in prayer, battles that will come tomorrow, there is a probability you will not overcome them. So, before Jesus was betrayed, before Jesus was persecuted tomorrow, he spent his night in prayer. So, Olende, he overcame Judas in prayer before he came. Hallelujah! Na ndiyo tunaona wakati maandui walivika walikuta Yesu aliye njawa na utulifu walikuta Yesu ambaye ana wasiwasi walikuta Yesu aliye na upole because Olende and overcame this demon in prayer jana amen na ninaomba neema ya maombi ikaingie kwetu katika jina la Yesu because if you start praying it is through prayer you can open the door that is supposed to open up tomorrow By the time we ingia katika ule mrango ambao ulikuwa uende ukabishapishe utafunguka because by yesterday ulikubishapisha huo mrango In fact in the ponde unataka kuondoa strago katika maisha yako in your future start praying now Amen So maana shetani anaelewa the power that is carried by prayer wakati anaataki watu kuna wakati anaweza kuwa ataataki vitu zingine lakini ataataki maombi yako listen to me if devil has attacked your prayer life he has attacked your future ninajua hiyo mnaosikia kama si point watu wengine i am saying if devil has attacked your prayer life he has attacked your future yes maombi yale tunaomba yako na uwezo wa kwenda miaka 1000 mbele yetu Maombi yale unaomba iko na uwezo wa kwenda next week. Ni nini huwa kinafanyika wakati tumeota ndoto mbaya? Mungu anga anatuvunulia saa nyingine ndoto mbaya na tunaomba na sile ndoto mbaya unakuta sitafanyika. Ezekiah was told you are going to die. Mtumishi wa Mungu alimuonyesha vyote yako kuna kifo. He went into the prayer. Katika ile maombi yake akaingia in the future aka cancel the, the, the death. The information from the prophet was talking about the future. Hallelujah. The predicament of the future. The prayer that he prayed went into the future. Ikaondoa kivo. So wapendwa, the prayers that you are praying, 
Aita kusaidia leo tu ina kusaidia ta miaka 10 injayo na so let me tell you this watu wengine mumenyamasha hivi na shetani ana attack miaka yako 5 injayo i told you this usingonche the year 2023 to vika january uanze kuombea hiyo mwaka anybody that wants the year 2023 to be prosperous you start praying for it now by the time to nine january tarehe moja Olende ulitengeneza ya wakitambo Unaingia katika siri ya maraka ulitafuta Katika maombi Uga ye man Yes That is what we call wisdom Don't wait until January December that the first Watu yungine tunakojianga December that the first Na inevakti kanisa inanjanga Makanisa mengi ya nanjanga sana hiyo kesha Ya December that the first Watu wamekuncha kufukisha mwaka But wise people this is the time to start declaring things, to start making declaration for the new year in advance. So, ukitaka kujua mtu yamekamatwa na shetani kiro, maombi unakuta au na nguvu na una uwezo. Usiku wale tunarenjesha na ya maombi katika jina na yesu. Mutu yoyote katika tietu wanaremewa na kuomba, receive the new grace of prayer in Jesus name. May you pray for hours and even ten hours in Jesus' name. Usiwa ida kanyo na mutu kati wakati unawamba you are wasting time. Ungeenda ukarime. Ungeenda ukabanya mambo mengine ya muimu. Nani ya nimekuambia maombi siya ya muimu? Amen. Prayer is a work. If you don't. Na saingine kuna wakati satani ya nabanya watu mbize sana. Anakuwenyesha hii mambo hii. Hii unabanya ambeni ya kuleta pesa. Hii ni ya muimu kuliko maombi. Pasimbo kujua, there are things you cannot buy with money. Amen. Ni visuri kufanya kasi and they encourage you work and work well. But understand this, if you will not pray, there are things that you cannot buy with money, you buy them with your knees. Kuna vitu avinunuliwi na pesa, vinanunuliwa katika magoti. Na so, saingini andu ya takuwanyesha Wewe enenda utavute pesa Wachana na maneno ya maombi Watu wale wanaomba ni watu wasembe Na inayesavika mahali ukue ukona iso pesa kwa mufuko Lakini asuwezi zika kununulia kitu chochote Number one, money cannot buy God You cannot buy God Money cannot buy a good marriage And a good family Yes Na watu ya nadhikiria a good marriage is a marriage kwa sababu muna kaa nyumba monja na muke wako. You know, muna isa kaa nyumba monja na muke wako na mume wako. But there is no peace. Muka huko tuku wanekana. Rekini ile kuona mutu wako nyumba monja, muke na mume, na watoto, wanaongea sauti monja, kuna vura, kuna kusikisana, it takes God. If it was money, pesa ziko, and the people are there who are rich. Hata wengine wamebatua mashauri mengi sana lakini kitu inakataa wakiingia pamoja inakuwa ni kama mi, mi, moto wa positive na positive kuna tokea thunder storm it takes god so i am saying this in jesus name i am encouraging you to work work do your business do whatever you do but don't forget there is a place called a place of prayer in the place of prayer we get things that the money cannot buy so, when the enemy wants to attack a church, it will take away the power of prayer. When the enemy wants to attack a family, it will take away the power of prayer. Ukute katika yu familia, nobody that prays for that family. Shindwa katika jina na Yesu. When the enemy wants to attack a life of a believer, it will take away the power of prayer. Baka ukikaivu unasikia ni mutu ambaye ni wakawainda tu. Iyo tumekata. Na ninasema hivi tena katika jina na Yesu. Ene ponte ina wamindis. Ambe au na nguvu sa maombi Siri atakuwa na shetani Tume sirenjesha katika jina na Yesu Ata wale wana nitasama online We restore that grace in Jesus name Na ata wale tukona iyo neema Tume tangasa imiongeseka Everybody in Jesus name Because we must pray Can you see what the Bible says Ephesians chapter number 6 verse number 18 The Bible says And pray in the occasions in the spirit on all occasion and pray in the spirit when all the time on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests hallelujah king james version 
Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Praying always with all prayer. Tunava kuomba wakati wawote na maompi aina zote. Amen. Bring always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all supplication. When are we supposed to pray? Sometimes we pray because things are not good. We are supposed to pray either things are good or they are bad. You are supposed to pray always. And also, you should know different types of prayers. You should be applying them. Hey, usikuwa leo nasikia nguvu za maombi zimerundi. Grace, special grace of prayer. Kavika jina na Yesu Christ. So, a sign that somebody is under demonic attack, ni kuishi maisha ya prayerlessness. I have told you separately, a praying man will stop praying. And a praying man will stop sinning. A sinning man will stop praying. And a praying man will stop sinning. Amen. When the enemy attacks people, kire kitu na kujua kwamba you are under attack of the enemy. It is in a consistent fellowship. In a consistent fellowship, unakuwa wewe ni mtu wa kuingia katika maushirika. Hata ile ipande ya sande tunakujanga, it is called a fellowship. Hii tuko hapa ni fellowship. Hata ya Sunday service ni fellowship. So inavika mahali mtu anasikia, leo sisikii kwenda kanisa mimi. And if you don't know, mtu akimisi kanisa za ande moja, unasikia ngata hiyo ingine umis. Na tena kuna ingia kipepo kingine cha kupostpone. Ah, nitaenda ile ingine. Ile ingine ikifika, nitaenda ile ingine. Nitaenda ile ingine. It is an attack. Devil is a friend of the fellowship of brethren. Shetani anaogopanga ushirika wa wenye haki. Matthew chapter number 18. Let's start from verse number 18. Verily I say unto you, whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Look at verse number 19. Again I say unto you, that if two of you, somebody say two, a fellowship it is when we meet, two people and above. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Look at verse number 20. Very powerful. Verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in words, in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So devil is very worried. Wakati anaona watu wawili watatu wamekusanyika pamoja kwa sababu ya jina la Bwana. Verse number 18 imetuambia kile ambacho atafunga hapa chini hata mbinguni kitafungwa. Kile watafungulisha hata mbinguni kitafungulishwa when we come together as a fellowship. Amen. Do you know even right now as I am preaching to you ata kama tungejaingia kwa maombi kuna vitu vinafunguliwa na kuna vitu vingine sinafungwa because we have gathered here in the name of the Lord tayari Yesu wako hapa tayari Mungu yuko hapa yeah yes here hata kama hatujaingia kwa maombi already as we have gathered here hatutakusanyika hapa kwa sababu ya biashara hata kutakusanyika hapa kama mwerezo we have gathered here in the name of the Lord so Jesus is here yes here so devil is more, so much against fellowship Na tunatangasa hameshindo kwa jina la Yesu. Watu wale wanchakuwa na neema ya kuingia kwa maipanda. Kuingia katika kanisa. Tunawaombea neema mpia katika jina la Yesu. Thomas alimis fellowship ya Yesu. Alikuwa naambua mastore vile Yesu ya mekunja hapa. Vile ya mefanya. Vile ya metenda. Vile ya nakaa. Mbaka anasema hiyo siwe siya mini. Do you know why in this brief? Because he was not in the fellowship. Na hivi ndivyo kuna vanyika. The more you continue missing Sunday services. The more you continue missing midweek services. Imani yako rasima itaendrea kuwa chini. But the more you continue coming. Every Sunday service you are there. Midweek services you are appearing. Your faith will become strong. Yes. 
Imani ya watu wale wanakuchanga ipanda kila wakati na wale wanakuchanga in consistently. They are not the same. Wengine nasema imani sao sitakuwa chini. So ukitaka kujua mtu ameatakiwa na shetani, kitu cha hicho kingine tumeona cha pili ni kuru, kufanya shetani anahakikisha awingi katika ipanda. Na kama utaingia, utaingia basi kwa kuvurulisha. In fact you cannot mature spiritually and you are not consistent in the house of God. Spiritual maturity is determined one of the determiners it is your consistency in the word of God, consistency in the house of God. Consistency in the word of God and the consistency in the house of God. Without them there is no spiritual maturity. Bwana sifiwe. Psalms chapter number 55 verse number 14. Psalms chapter number 55 verse number 14. We took sweet counsel together and walk into the house of God in what? In the cabin. In Daudi anasema. Na Daudi tumeona sana sana. Ukiingia kama za Psalms chapter 122 verse 1. Anasema I was glad. Psalms 122 verse number 1. When they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Psalms chapter number 23. Ukisoma hapo chini. That is verse number 6. Psalms 23 verse number 6. The same same day they day saying, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will never miss in the house of God. Amen. And now take us to the verse that we are reading. We want a video and the The same same David. Psalms 55 verse number 14. We took sweet counsel together. And walked into the house of God in the company. As a fellowship. Amen. Tulipokea mashauri yale mazuri pamoja. Na tukatembea pamoja katika nyumba ya Bwana. The same same Bible says and the two are better than one. Because if one falls, uyure mwingine atamuinua. Two are better than one. So shetani anatakanga saa ingine usikuwe katika kanisa. Ili kama ataku, ataku, ataku ataki na kule. Au na mtu wa kukuoko. Two are better than one. Because if one will fall, atainuliwa na yure mwingine. Genesis chapter 2 verse number 18. Genesis chapter number 2 verse number 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be what? I will make him an helper to meet for him. Genesis chapter number 2 verse number 18a. It is not good for a man to be alone. It is not only in the marriage, but also on the matters of the spirits. Atakatika mambe ya kiro. It is not good for a man to be alone. Mungu rasima akumbie an helper. Waku kusaidia atakatika mambe ya kiro. In the business, it is not good for a man to be alone. What are you supposed to do? Tell God, create for me a business helper. Amen. Somebody said, if you want to walk very fast, walk alone. If you want to go far, walk as a team. And I told you this, not every Ponte that is supposed to be in your company, but there are specific people that God has destined for you, they should walk with you. Jesus and the fellowship of Peter and John James, walikuwa maraviki wake wakaripu. Fellowship, hili alikuwa na fellowship na wawo. Amen. John chapter number 17 verse number 21. Fellowship is so powerful. John chapter number 17 verse number 21. That they all may be one. As thou father are in me and I in thee. That they also be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. NIV version. NIV. That all of them may be what? One. Father, just as you are in me and I in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. What is he talking about? Fellowship. King James Fashion, April chapter number 10, verse number 25. Oh my goodness. April chapter number 10, verse number 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and is so much more as ye see the day approaching. Amen. 
hii tumesoma mara mingi sana hapa ati na tusiache kusanyiko la pamoja kama vile ilivyo tapia wengine tukaweza kuwa watu wa kuinuana kwa sababu mnaona siku ya Bwana inakaribia we need the fellowship you are under demonic attack kama kuna pepo inakuambia anga usiende kwa kanisa na umisi ushirika umisi mikutano ya maombi i feel to talk something Bwana asifiwe mnaona hata mikutano kama hii mnaona ya katikati hii ni mikutano ingine very powerful hii very powerful people don't know kuna mikutano Yesu alikuwa anaweka private na saa nyingine anaweka na wanafunzi wake wachache and Jesus could do very powerful things never ignore any meeting that is planned in the house of God as far as Mungu atakuwa pale number three. tunamaliza something that can show you somebody is under attack of the enemy give me that John chapter 1 first number 2 to 4 Number three, it is something we call wealth. Aravu andika number four. I mean health. Health, number three. And number four, finance. Amen. In the end, John, chapter one, verse two. Beloved, I wish above all things that may thou may prosper and number one, be in health even as thy soul prospereth beloved i wish above all things that you may prosper number one, and be in good health even as your soul prospereth a sign of an attack ni mtu kukua na magonjwa ambayo haitaki kusikia ndawa ndio bibiri ilituambia pale in the book of james Chapter number 5 verse number 13 Is there one among us you that is afflicted that person should pray verse 14 Is anyone among us you that is sick let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of the faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he have committed sins they shall be uh, they shall be forgiven the perfection of avent prayer of a righteous man availeth much so mtu akiona ko na magonjwa na aitaki ndawa pere kwa mahali kuna anointing so ukiona nyumbani kuna magonjwa ipon mama anapona hiyo kitu inarukia watoto watoto wakipona kitu inarukia papa it is an attack it is a demonic attack hii mekataa ndawa leo ilikuwa ni tumbo kesho ni mgongo mgongo ukipona tumbo inarundi tena it is an attack the sickness is that an demonic sinakuanga kazi yake ni kunja kuharibu watu na kuharibu kile ambacho wamedhokoma bwana asifiwe the same that john chapter 1 verse number 2 verse 4 so tumeona point number 4 it is financial attack inasema That is John chapter number one. That is John chapter number one. Verse number two. Verse two. Beloved, I wish that above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even thy soul, as thy soul prospereth. Lakini nataka duambiye. Mutu awesi akavanikua kipesa kukiwa na magonjo amen i wish that you may prosper i wish above all things that you may prosper hiyo ni kusema kwamba mkafanikiwe so number four nimesema and prosperity is not about money amen prosperity is bigger than money if you don't know prosperity is bigger than money but number four the demons that attack finances the attack finances such that every time unaanza kukusanya pesa pamoja ukiwa na mrandu wa kujenga nyumba lazima kutokea kitu hizo pesa zinaisha kuna tokea kitu ya kukula hizo pesa biblia inasema kwamba i wish that you may prosper in all things 
na hiyo ndio tunasema kuna kuno maskini ambao sio wa kawaida ama unajikuta uko na mandeni mengi unashindwa kulipa na watu wengine pia wanajua kupanga mahesabu ya pesa ni kusema kuna kitu inavaa ipiganwe nayo mingonde yo pass in jesus name 